in this lesson we are going to learn udd method so udd is one of those approximate methods that can be used to calculate the probabilities like 2.7 p 37.5 okay so after learning udd we can easily calculate this kind of probabilities here udd stands for uniform distribution of depth uniform distribution of depth okay udd is based on the assumption that for integer x for integer x and t lying in between 0 to 1 the function tpx mu x plus t is constant okay and this is equals to qx so this is the assumption in udd method also udd assumes that mu x increases over the year of age okay so udd assumes that mu x increases over the year of age now if you remember tqx is nothing but the cdf of the random variable tx here tx is the continuous random variable tx means the exact number of years including fractions that a life currently is x will survive after is x okay so tqx is the cdf of the random variable tx we can also write this as tx less than or equal to t so these two notations are basically the same okay also tqx equals to 0 to t s p x mu x plus s ds we had seen this formula in the previous video okay so now for t lying in between 0 to 1 and assuming udd we can say that this term is nothing but qx right so tqx equals to qx 0 to t ds right and this is equals to t times qx okay so the integration of ds is nothing but t so this is our formula from udd here t is in between 0 to 1 and x is the integer is integer is let's look at one example suppose you are given 0 0.25 q 40 here you can see that the t is in between 0 to 1 and x is the integer is so we so we can directly apply the formula 0 0.251 q 40 assuming u d d now you can solve this 0 0.25 times l 40 minus l 41 divided by l 40 right we can look at these values from the table let's do another example suppose you are given 2.25 q 40 so here you can see that t is not in between 0 and 1 but x is the integer is so let's first convert this in p form that is 1 minus 2.25 p 40 now we can break this down using the principle of consistency so that this t becomes lower and lies in between 0 and 1 so i can write 1 minus 2 p 40 times 0 0.25 p 42 right using the principle of consistency now this is 1 minus 2 p 40 and this is 1 minus 0 0.25 times 1 q 42 okay and now again you can look at the values from the table and solve this let's do one more example suppose you are given 2.75 q 
40.5 here t is not in between 0 and 1 and x is also not the integer age so let's first convert this in p form 1 minus 2.75 p 40.5 now what should we do let's first break this down using the principle of consistency so this is 1 minus can i write 0 0.5 p 40.5 times 2 p 41 times 0 0.25 p 43 okay now we can find out this value as well as this value but we don't know how to do this because x is not the integer age right so can i write 1 p 40 equals to 0 0.5 p 40 times 0 0.5 p 40.5 okay now from this equation 0 0.5 p 40.5 is equals to 1 p 40 divided by 0 0.5 p 40 okay further i can write 1 p 40 divided by 1 minus 1 q sorry 0 0.5 times 1 q 40 okay now you can put the value of this into this equation so this is 1 minus 1 p 40 divided by 1 minus 0 0.5 times 1 q 40 times 2 p 41 times 1 minus 0 0.25 q 43 okay and then you can solve this looking at the values from the table okay so the idea to solve this kind of question is basically first you need to break down the larger value into smaller values okay using the principle of consistency and then you can see that the sum of x and t does not cross the integer age so what you can do is you can simply write 1 p and whatever is the integer is and then you can break this down and then again you can use this strategy to find out the values of this kind of probabilities okay and then looking at the values from the table you can get the final answer all right so this is the strategy to solve this kind of question and this is all about udd assumption in the next video we'll talk about cfm that is constant force of modality cfm is also one of those approximate methods that is used to calculate this kind of probabilities okay but with a slightly different approach so now let's stop here and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching this video.